everyone. Thanks for joining this week's episode. I'm so glad to be here in, in Singapore, um, right here in Changi Airport, Jewel. And it's been about two years since I've been here. So the last time I was here was just one month before the lockdown. And you know, it's great being back, especially during this high Raya season where I can catch up with family and friends and also eat some great food. So, you know, the thing is, uh, I haven't been here for two years and so it takes an effort to travel from Europe all the way to Asia. So while I'm here, I want to maximize as much as I can. So, and I thought I want to go to Malacca. So, um, I, the last time I was actually in Malacca was also in February 2020, one month before the lockdown. And uh, things were quite getting a bit different. So I'm, I'm quite curious to see what ha what's, has changed, what hasn't changed. So um, I want to also share with you guys also some of my favorite places to eat in, uh, in Malacca. So without further ado, let's, get, let's head to Malacca. Hey guys, I'm at the uh, last fortress or the remaining fortress that is left by the Portuguese uh, Empire or Portuguese legacy. Uh, I must say it's quite a hot day. It's actually hotter than Singapore. Um, but coming back here, uh, I think Malacca has changed quite a bit. Um, I think this is something I, I wasn't expecting in a way. Um, I thought that uh, things will pick up and be, you know, pretty be busy over here, but somehow it's a bit quieter. I can tell that tourism is picking up, but uh, not the way, not like when I was here the last time before the pandemic happened. So uh, I'm right now here in the, in the uh, fortress, and it's, uh, you know, I don't know, it's, it's just uh, very ancient, but it still feels nice to be back here, finally be, be, be able to be back here in Malacca. And uh, I'm enjoying my time over here, getting a lot of inspirations, a lot of ideas. And so revisiting the places that I, you know, I was here the last time before the lockdown. So here I am at the, uh, you know, at the remaining part of the ancient fortress 
in Malacca built by the Portuguese. So yeah, so I'm going to explore more. I'll see you guys in a bit. I needed a respite from the heat and thank goodness for the abundance of cafes serving chandol. Chandol is an ice sweet dessert and is believed to have originated from Indonesia. Every shop serves it quite differently. The basic ingredients you will need are shaved ice, coconut milk, jelly noodles made from rice flour pandan, and gula melaka also known as palm sugar. Some cafes may have additional ingredients such as jackfruit, fermented sweet cassava, condensed milk or durian. However, I like mine with red beans or azuki beans. That's the scrunchy because I'm really, really am so thirsty. So hot out there. Look at me, I'm swearing. And of course, being a Malacca, I have to get my chandel fix every single day. Here's another variation of chandel. That was excellent! While I was indulging eating chandol, I couldn't help watch the staff making bak chang, which is glutinous rice dumplings with meat wrapped in bamboo leaves made by the Chinese and Peranakans. Time for lunch and it's chicken rice balls which is unique to Malacca. It 
If you know me, you know I like my food spicy. The stir fry bean sprouts was simple and cooked well. It still had that crunchy texture. That was awesome! And I do like to finish my meal with lime juice and sour plums. Well, that was quite a nice lunch. I really like the chicken rice a lot. And it's so unique having the chicken rice. The rice itself in a ball form. And um, yeah, in, it's kind of nice in the way you can control your rice intake. Uh, it looks very really small, and but it's just nice. So, of course, after lunch, I cannot do without coffee. So, off to a cafe for a latte. I stumbled into this cafe in an antique shop near my hotel. It looked interesting and I thought I should try the laksa. There are several variations of laksa in Southeast Asia and I believe laksa originated in Malacca by the Peranakans. This variation is served with vermicelli noodles, puff tofu, fish cakes, fish balls, boiled egg, cockles and prawn. It is garnished with freshly sliced cucumbers, green chilies, sambal on the side, and you can squeeze calamansi lime into the laksa. Mix it all together and enjoy! That was another satisfying meal and I had to have my iced black tea with calamansi lime.
well that was an unexpected find but a really good find and i'm really glad i managed to go and try out the restaurant i was just happened to walk past by um you know just walking around the streets one morning and decided that okay why don't you just give this a go and, and it was actually one of the best laksa i had in a long while i think maybe only because i haven't had laksa in a while especially being in portugal because <coughs> uh yeah and i was just blown away by all the flavors the aromatics the freshness of the cucumber and so the caucus was rather unexpected i actually thought it was tamarind but sure, sure damn good so i'm now uh, going to go back to my hotel and rest for a little bit so and then i'm going to continue my little journey so come and join me in for the next food tour and i'll see you guys soon Gosh, it was really, really hot day and I'm a sucker for it, but I, I enjoyed my walks around here and I'm now in the Portuguese uh, village, the Portuguese settlement and I've got, you know, I'm back in one of my favorite restaurants called Monterios, <laughs> just forgot the name. So I've ordered uh, some uh, food, so I've got some, um, this is a fried brinjol or fried torong they call it. And of course, I got the famous Eurasian Dabao curry. This is going to be really spicy. And this is something I really, really missed uh, because I haven't had it in a long while. I can make it, but it's just doesn't feel the same as, you know, having it over here. So, and something just arrived. Oh, thank you. Uh, we've got the uh, otauta, the steam otauta. And I'm going to have this with the, um, with the yeah. This is going to be really delicious. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I also got this mantau bun, which is the fried bun. I'm going to dip it in the curry sauce. So let's go. Mm. Wow, it's got the spicy kick. I love it. I was going to talk more about the food, however, I got distracted by the owners wanting to catch up. It's been two years since I last went to Malacca and this restaurant's managed by sisters Helen and Janet. Oh my gosh, that was really good but really feeling. So I think I'm going to finish off of this. So yeah, that's my you know my craving for the in the, in the portuguese settlement and i already got my kabao curry so i'm really happy with it about it so yeah so i'm going to rest tonight and have a cup of tea and i'll see you guys in the next bit my last food tour indulgent is pranakan cuisine i've been trying to locate this restaurant the last time i was here and found out they have relocated
To be honest, I've never eaten chinchalo, which is the fermented shrimp. So it's time to give it a go. Mix the chinchalo and ulam ingredients well and eat it with freshly cooked rice. Hua Kalua is a Southeast Asian version of truffles. It has a unique taste and the closest I can describe is a mixture of black olives, mushroom with cacao notes. It is one of the most time-consuming dishes to make, but it is so worth it. And I had to indulge in the kundundum drink, which is a golden apple juice. Well, I must say that was a really fantastic lunch. I'm so glad I finally found Nancy's Kitchen because I remember the last time when I was here in Malacca, it was in Jonka Walk and then obviously they had moved here in 2015. So I remembered it so well and I had to come back. So yeah, that was a fantastic lunch. It blew my mind away. And that was actually my first time trying Tin Chalot Salad uh, Ulam. Um, I just, you know, it was salty, but I don't know, that's just umami unique umami taste to it just love it so guys here's me from Malacca saying goodbye thanks very much for watching this week's episode I hope you guys enjoyed it my little tour of Malacca so don't forget to hit like subscribe and the bell and also for those of you who are in Portugal and Lisbon why not head up to meet up and join some of my supper club events so here's me saying goodbye from Malacca Malaysia I'll see you guys again soon take care ciao ciao